Hello there, Fellowship of Ryan, Harvey here. In South Korea. Finishing a bowl of Mera de Cheval. And my very first pipe. A gift from my dad, but in all fairness, I don't think he expected for me to smoke it. <laughs> he's, he's okay with me now doing it. Um, finally had a, a little bit of time to just relax and enjoy a pipe. This is the second pipe that I have in two weeks in which actually I can relax. I'm not saying that I'm not smoking, but when I smoke, I either walking one way or driving or always kind of on a on a rush. And it's it's a different experience when you can just slow down and just enjoy a pipe. And this is exactly what I'm doing now, having also the time to catch up with videos, my my playlist of videos to watch uh, reach 40 something or so now I'm down to <laughs> perhaps 20 or so so 18, that's pretty good I've been commenting and watching, I don't comment in all of them my apologies about that, hope you'll understand but I'm, I'm getting back into, into having a little bit of time to, to watch. Now, the topic of this video, and I took more than two minutes to, just to get to the topic, it's thoughts about death. And, and I know it's a um, touchy subject, and perhaps not everyone will even talk or think about this, but... I have always believed I had a very, let's not say unique, but peculiar <laughs> um, concept or, or take on, on the idea of dying. i never been particularly afraid of dying. I've never been a, the slightest afraid of dying. Though, I never had suicidal ideations or, or anything like that so um, I don't know I don't know I have plenty of friends back in college that uh, had suicidal thoughts and I never could relate to them I always thought gosh it never crossed my mind Well, perhaps with the exception when you're really little and they, like uh, you fought with your parents and then you're like, oh, if I die, they will feel really bad about it. <laughs> uh, but in facing adversity or, or troubles or whatever, never, never had that, that issue. But it always shocked me that I wasn't afraid of dying. Like if somebody tells me, well, that's what you have, you have until tomorrow, I'll be like, wow, okay. <laughs> or a year, like, all right. Strangely enough, I don't think I'll change anything, like, um, I'm not even sure, well, I will just call, try desperately to say goodbye. I'm not sure if I, I put my family through that. I know that I, would, I wouldn't try to rush to, like, oh, I want to be with them. No, I, I don't think I, I'll do that. And if you ask me, I'll keep doing exactly what I'm doing right now. And I'm not saying literally now, but I'll, I'll keep doing my stuff, I guess. But um, I don't know what you think. Do you think this is too strange? Do you think perhaps because I'm too young, young, <laughs> that I, I don't have that urge of, uh, I don't know, having more days? I mean, don't get me wrong. If I get to 80 or 90, that'll be fantastic. Painful, though, but... Fantastic. I'm not afraid of dying, but I'm scared as hell 
of pain. That scares me big time. I'm not gonna lie. But night dying, not so much. A gloomy topic, huh? Well, that's the way it goes, and that's what is in my head right now. And we keep catching up with idiots. So with my friends, half away.